We're back in the tiny Italian of Peckham kitchen and today we're making a pasta recipe with this bad boy. Are you ready? So we're going to be roasting a butternut squash and we're going to make it into a nice little kind of like puree to add to our pasta. We're going to also add some other ingredients which I'll let you guys know later. First thing we need to do is we need to prep this. Now I'm only going to use half of this because there's only one of me living here. Otherwise it will just be too greedy. So I'm going to peel this and dice it up. I'm going to first chop it in half. Ooh, I'm just going to use this part. So after I've chopped it up, I've just got a baking tray, I've just put a bit of baking parchment you can use on aluminium foil or just put it straight on the tray. I just hate washing up baking trays so I always protect them. Um, I'm going to add a little drizzle of olive oil, give them a bit of flavour to help them roast beautifully. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, give that a bit of a massage them, you know what I mean, give us some love. Now it's going to go in the oven at 180 for about 40-45 minutes. So while um, the butternut squash is cooking, I have brought a pan of water to the boil. I've seasoned it generously with salt. Whatever you cook in water, you should always make sure your water is beautifully seasoned. It just makes sure that the dish is beautifully gorgeous, otherwise it's going to taste really bland. I'm going to add some cavallonero, you can also add spinach, kale, whatever you need, just to give this a little bit of greenness, a little bit of goodness, a little bit of colour. I'm going to cook that for the next four minutes. So my cavallonero has been cooking for about four minutes. I'm just going to just with a slotted spoon, we're not draining it because we're going to use this water to cook our pasta in. So our butternut squash have finished cooking. The way to know whether they're cooked all the way through, literally just get a knife or a fork, should I say, and just push it down. If it easily goes in and comes back out again, you know it's ready. Now add some olive oil to a wide frying pan. And what we're going to do now, we've got some shallots and a garlic, garlic clove. I'm going to just Stick it in there, add a good pinch of salt to get that good flavour base. Now I'm going to cook that, I'm going to soften those vegetables now for at least like five minutes. I'm going to add some more aromatics, give it a nice little bit of flavour. We're going to add some dry sage, just a nice pinch, it goes really nicely with the butternut squash. In the meantime, I'm going to cook some pasta while we finish off with the rest of our sauce. So I'm going to cook the pasta in the water that we put the tablonero in. So add that in and cook your pasta as instructed on the packet. We're going to add our roasted butternut squash into the garlic and shallots, give it a nice mix, make sure it's well coated in all those flavours, give it a nice bit of a bit of zhuzh. Now we're going to add some of the pasta water into here and then with a potato masher of some sort, now mash up your butternut squash. Add in some parmesan cheese and give that a mix, that alarm means my pasta is ready. We're going to finish off our sauce by adding that cavallonero in, give it a nice toss through together. Now add your pasta in like so. That looks delicious. So here we got, we've got a roasted creamy butternut squash with cavallonero, looking fantastic. Now I'm going to have a mouthful because I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. That is my happy, I've just had a beautiful mouthful of pasta darts because that is going to make me happy. You've got the sweetness of the butternut squash, you've got the earthiness of the cavallonero, you've got the sawiness of the parmesan on top and it feels creamy and there's no cream in it. The little pasta sauce that I added here helps to kind of create a nice sauce effect. Right, I'm going to go and enjoy this now. So, if you like this video, save, share, like, whatever it is, wherever you're watching this and I'll see you next time. So, so, ciao, ciao for now and ta-da!